Lesson 1 previous question of mathematical logic. This question was asked in GATE CS 2013, question number 27. What is the logical translation of the following statement? None of my friends are perfect and four options are given. We can solve in two ways. First, we can find meaning of every option and we can match with this statement. Second, directly we can find formula for this and we can match with the option. Let me first write meaning of every option. Option A, there exists x, f of x and negation of p of x. Let f of x is x is my friend and p of x is x is perfect. So there exists a x such that x is my friend and x is not perfect. Or we can say some of my friends are not perfect. But here it's given none of my friends means all my friends are not perfect. Next option B, there exists x, negation of f of x and p of x. So there exists a x such that x is not my friend and x is perfect. So we can say some of those who are not my friends are perfect. Next option C, there exists x, negation of f of x and negation of p of x. So there exists a x such that x is not my friend and x is not perfect. We can say some of those who are not my friend are not perfect. This is not same as the statement so option C is not answer. Only option left is option D. Negation of there exists x, f of x and p of x. None of my friends are perfect. This is the answer. None of my friends are perfect. Means all my friends are not perfect. All that's why it will be universal quantifier. So for all x who are my friend. We can say f of x are not perfect. Implies negation of p of x. So this will be our formula for all x. If x is my friend, then x is not perfect. Now we can write p implies q as negation of p or q. So we can write negation of f of x or negation of p of x. As all options are in and format, so we are trying to write in AND format. Here we got an implication. Now we are converting into AND format. So we will write negation of f of x or negation of p of x. Now we can take this negation common. We can apply the De Morgan law. So negation of p and q that will be negation p or negation q. So when we will take this negation common, it will be AND. So negation of f of x and p of x. We took this negation common from both f of x and p of x. We apply the De Morgan law. Now take this negation outside before this quantifier. So this universal quantifier will change to existential quantifier. When we will take negation outside, it will be negation of there exist x, f of x and p of x. The same exactly present in option D. So answer is option D. It's given indirectly. Actual formula will be this for all x, f of x implies negation of p of x. But we can convert to this. I already discussed predicate logic, just go through the lecture and if this lecture is helpful for you, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.